here for a Sunday fun day stream. I hope you're doing well. We got a few knives out on the table here. We're going to talk about some things today. We're also going to get into a little bit of controversy with the post office, eBay, some things like that. So I hope you're ready for a little bit of fun and a little bit of story time. But yeah, happy Sunday fun day. We're going to do a little stream here. Like I said, we're going to get into a little bit of controversy with the post office and eBay and some other community things. But most importantly, I hope you're having an awesome day. I'm going to move this little DSKFS patch down a little bit. Of course, never get it straight enough, but it's there. I hope you enjoyed SKL last night. A little DSKFS reveal by our master moderator, Big Red EDC in the house. Hope we're having fun. Now, I will say just to start, having some issues with the old computer. <laughs> so anytime I do a live stream, it's lagging. And I've tried Safari, Chrome, other things. Tried cookies and cache and software updates and reboots and all sorts of fun stuff. I did turn one thing off that's helped a little bit. And that was, um, gosh, what did they call it? Ambient mode on YouTube when you're in dark mode. So yes, having fun with that. So going to probably take it into the old computer shop and see what's happening with that this week. But you know, that's half the fun, but we got Ed Harrison here. We got Jim Turgulia Colby is in the house. M bomb, Justin, Ohio, Bushcraft rebooted. We also have Rory Calhoun, member of the crew. We got Tom Weingart, Gold Class crew member and master moderator in the house, as well as Big Red EDC, master moderator and platinum crew member, as well as Pocket Razors, platinum crew member and master moderator as well. Todd Kingery is here, member of the crew. How are you today? Broke AZ Knives, Gold Class crew member Jay Hardesty in the house. Rule number nine, platinum crew member and master moderator here as well. El Cap Attic in the house. Member of the crew, Dr. Drew Dude's in the house. Top Dog is in the house. Gold Class crew member, what is up, Top Dog? All right. Yes, Tom, king of all squeaky chairs. We will have that video up this week, which is awesome. Uh, really cool. Let's see who else we got in the house here. We got Z-Man ZDC, member for 37 months, platinum crew member and master moderator, says... Sunday fun day. <laughs> we got Leland Phil here. PNW fun stuff. Member of the crew. Joe Kasprick. Member of the crew as well. <laughs> Love it. James Alden is here. Member of the crew. Pedro Armstrong. Also a member of the crew. Ginger Fisher. 75 is in the house. Member of the crew. Joe Kasprick. Also a member of the crew is here. We got Lonnie Hutchinson, new crew member in the house. Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Pacific Vagabond in the house. Donald Malinkovich, member of the crew is here. Brasher Beer is here as well. Let me get it. That's here. Member of the crew, how are you? Paul Bessmer, member of the crew is here as well. Thank you all for jumping in. B Shady 22 member of the crew is here as well. I probably missed a couple people if I did. My apologies, and we will get you in a few, of course. Marshall Law 123 jumping in with the hashtag DSKFS super chat. Marshall's platinum crew member in my mind. He's an honorary platinum crew member because he supported so much of this channel and so many second round giveaways. The Marshall Law of Moras in the house. Thank you for the super chat, my friend. <laughs> Ed Harrison is here as well. What's up, Ed? How are you? Ginger Fisher, member for nine months. <laughs> Double detents in the house, member of the crew. Thank you for being here as well. Lonnie Hutchinson's here, newer crew member. I'm going to move some of these up here a little bit so we can get a little bit better look at those. Just see what we got going. I'm going to have to like attach that, that patch to something. Be like, stick it down. Stick it down, flip it, blah, 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 blah. James Alton, member of the crew is here. Yeah, BFV GNR, BFV Gunner is in the house. What is up? El Cap adding member for nine months is hashtag DSKFS. <laughs> K 
Kathleen Smith is here. I saw you jumping in early. I appreciate you being here as well. Now, Mike Jernak's in the house. Platinum crew member. What's up, Mike? My biggest question is, those of you who have not seen the SKL from last night, you need to go watch that. So, Big Red, make sure to post that link up there for your SKL from last night. Do, 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 do. BFG GNR says, Benchmade Warranty Service emailed me saying my 940 is there and has entered the work queue. I love it. I love it. That is awesome. That is really good. Oh, my goodness. Pocket Razors jumping in, gifting five memberships to Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Thank you, Pocket Razors. You're very kind. <laughs> Kurt White's in the house as well. Now, what did we get? We got some donated memberships from Pocket Razors. And Ed Harrison got his gold class membership back. Matt McKellis, Jim Turgliaferra, and Leland Phil all got their memberships back. And we got a new membership from Pacific Vagabond. So Pacific Vagabond, we like to give brand new channel members a little channel swag. So please send me an email with your name, your mailing address to zach.edc at gmail.com. And if you haven't seen it, there is the DSKFS reveal from SKL last night. Go give it a watch. Go give it a like. Go give it a thumbs up. Go give it a sideway thumbs. You'll know what I'm talking about. And also leave a comment. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Pocket me uh, Pocket Razors. <laughs> I almost said Pocket Metal. That's a, that's tomorrow. Pocket Metal is tomorrow. New members email Zach. There you go. Thank you so much. Big Red for doing that. Sharp Guy ATX is in the house. A member of the Gold Class crew. Jason Ferrarni's in the house. CK Platinum crew members here. Joe Blades is happening. What's up, man? Welcome in. Greg Maroney, member of the crew, is here. What is good? Now, I do have to say, right off the bat, we got a little, how do you want to say? Um, foreshadowing, forecasting, dropping hints. How about that? Just going to say, dole is dangerous. That's all I'm going to say. Dole is dangerous. Let's see if you can get a good look at that. Foreshadowing, forecasting, dole is dangerous. EA Sports. It's in the game. Now, I'm still trying to figure out situation, the Wi-Fi, and the lagging. I think it's all the computer. So, anyways, bear with me. I appreciate you helping out and being here. Palmer Conley's in the house. What is up, Palmer? How are you? Dole is definitely dangerous. Paper Tiger's in the house. Platinum crew member. Little work sharp, foreshadowing, forecasting. Zach only groundhogs forecast. Ooh. New chair is not here. So it's been delayed. And we also got a delay on USPS. So I had something coming from California. California. Um, but it was awesome. So I'm in the Portland metro area. And it goes from California. It goes up to Eugene, Oregon, which is, uh, you know, a little bit uh, north of south. <laughs> and then it hits Portland. And basically then is normally sent out to the route. And it all of a sudden takes the data update. And then it's in Michigan. <laughs> Michigan. Michigan. From Portland to Michigan. And it's like maybe three or four miles from Portland to my post office. So I don't get it. It's on its way back, I would assume, because it's traveling again. Um, but I was really hoping to have it for today because it's really cool. Uh, Matt McKellis, a member of the crew, gifted five Zach's Daily Carry Crew memberships. Thank you so much, Matt, for doing that. We got Kurt White getting his membership back. Palmer Conley getting his membership back. Justin Ohio. Joe Isabella and Bushcraft Rebooted all getting their memberships back. That is awesome. Thank you, Matt, for doing that. I really, really appreciate it. I was kind of hoping they would put some cheese with it. Like, you know, throw in a little bonus cheese, right? A little bonus Michigan, Wisconsin. Maybe it's in Wisconsin. I think it's in Wisconsin. Never mind. I think it's Wisconsin. 
Yeah, it's in Wisconsin. Oh my goodness, Greg Woodward's in the house as well. Yeah, very frustrating for sure. Addicted to Blades 2, Knives Are Life, all jumping in. Knives Are Life, member of the crew, thank you for being here. Same with G. Woodward. We got Big Red, EDC, Master Moderator, Platinum Crew member, donating five memberships to Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Thank you, Big Red. <laughs> And we got Addicted to Blades 2, Pepper Dingo, Marco, Bluminati, and Mark Vickers all getting their membership back. And Bluminati getting that gold class membership back. You guys, if you haven't followed Bluminati Ninja, check him out on YouTube. Just saying. Uh, Dwayne Letterman's in the house, member of the crew. Goondocks is here, says, Sup, Zach? How goes the battle? Now, I just don't understand. Zach, is your undelivered package a warranty buster? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's the thing. Like, I know one of the things, but the other thing that is delayed, I'm not sure on. I'm hoping it is, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, let's see. Right on, M-Bomb. All right. So, pizza operator's in the house. What's up, pizza operator? I have to say, I'm very sad with USPS for that. Because it got so close. Now, this is the, probably the second time that's happened in a couple years. And I don't know if it's the route. It's small enough of a package it got stuck somewhere. But we'll give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm hoping it arrives tomorrow. Wink, wink. Hint, hint. USPS, just saying. Now, I'm very... Pizza Operator is also a member of the crew. i got to give that shout out. I also have to say this. Yeah, even USPS doesn't want to be in Portland. <laughs> That's awesome. Z-Man's EDC, platinum crew member, gifted a membership, and nobody listens to Eric, got a new membership. That is awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Z-Man, for doing that, and welcome to the crew. Nobody listens to Eric. We've got a, a special video coming out this week for the crew members, so that'll be awesome. Uh, there's a link to Blue Mountain Ninja. Thanks, Big Red, for posting that. Thank you, Z-Man. And don't forget, nobody listens to Eric. Send me an email, zach.edc at gmail.com with your name, your mailing address. We get some channel swag out to you. Pretty awesome. Thank you, Big Red, for posting that. But I do say I'm very, very frustrated. And I just want to give another warning. I know I've said this many, many times. But eBay. I'm going to call it out, eBay. Very frustrated because as a longtime member of eBay. Oh, they're, they're failing us and they don't care anymore. Uh, rule number nine says I had a FedEx that picked up 20 miles from me in Iowa and sent it to New Jersey before coming back. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so wild. That's so wild. I am me is in the house. Remember the crew Gons is jumping in as well. What's up Gons? So I had did want to show you I have I took a little screenshot of what they're selling. And basically, I mean, we're going to we're going to share it, right? We're going to share it because it's just it's how it's got to be. But it's a benchmade turret. And if this is you, then I want you to speak up if you're here in the live. But I highly doubt it. But they got a lot of sales. Now, I don't know overall but I do know that there's some things wrong with their postings looking at the uh, pictures. And I'm just going to say, I want you all to look, but basically we got this right here being sold. It's obviously not the right color. It, they could have maybe dyed it, but it wouldn't have taken that light of a dye. They could have put some extra, you know, scales on it. But when you get into the packaging, um, the label, and things like that, there's some stuff wrong. And so I basically was just like, hey, FYI, this is not a legitimate bench made. It's a counterfeit, it's a reproduction. And eBay's like, hey, we'll look into it. And then they're like, hey, you know what? We looked into it, thanks, but uh, we're gonna leave it up. So there was already people watching it. There was also some other stuff from some other sellers that had bids on it. And I feel bad for them because there's no way for me to notify them and tell them, hey, it's fake. Uh, I'm just letting you know. So 
Nice fast. Platinum crew member says, hey, Zach and all, just checking in for a few. Going to be recording a bunch of reviews here in a few minutes. Man, you're, you're the busiest guy on YouTube that I've seen for a while, man. What's up, nice fast? Um, yeah, if you're ever bored, put on notifications for uh, nice fast. You're going to get live streams like five times a day, 10 videos, all the good stuff. You can, and shout out, man. Got my bingo card almost full now. So we got live from the shower. That's awesome. I appreciate that. Homer Feltis in the house. Member of the crew. LCB Blades Edge. New crew member here. Slipped off the blade in a fixing angle and chipped it three places. Pretty bad. Oof. No fun. No fun. Uh, should be a member of Zach stuff and they would know. Yep. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Aries EDC is in the house. Member of the crew. What's up, Aries EDC? Yeah, it's all good. Oh, he changed your Bluetooth? Audio is completely different? Oh, okay. Hopefully for the better. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, I just want to say, like, if you're going to be doing those auction sites, and now we did get some information from Blade Binge, uh, formerly NAF Sale, uh, formerly, uh, just kidding. But they basically said, hey, if you get a counterfeit, they're not allowed. And if you get a counterfeit, you send it back to us, you get your money back 100%. So that was kind of reassuring to see. I appreciate them putting that out there. Splitting slices, gold class crew members here. Joseph S., Troy N., what is up? Yep, definitely. Marshall says you can't count on eBay to moderate legitimacy, but money back guarantee does. So make sure you got that money back guarantee on those purchases for sure. So... Yeah, it's just kind of crazy how that all works out. You know, it's one of those things, right? <laughs> Kristen Noble's in the house. New crew member, how are you? Thank you for being here. Now, I did have somebody that wanted me to mention, and I'm going to try this out, and I want to know if any of you in the chat, live here, or watching the replay, have tried this out, but it's CMOS. CMOS is a supplement. Poke stuff is here. So is Ed. What's up? Welcome all. Welcome in. Have you tried CMOS before? There's supposed to be like 36, 90 different things, all sorts of fun stuff. But CMOS is something that I was like, okay. And Mark turned me on to it. So thanks, Mark, for that. But I got some ordered up. That's going to be here this week. We'll give it a try. Okay, the Irish CMOS. Nice. Okay, T Fetch. Right on, right on. Okay. Clear the CMOS. The clear the CMOS. <laughs> so I've cleared the cash and the uh, like history and all that on my computer. It's still not doing it, but it's a, it's a, it's like a five year old MacBook, and it's having some struggles. And I don't know if it was from the most recent one, uh, like software update to Sonoma or whatever, but it also has, uh, I, I, I worked it pretty hard. Uh, about a week, week and a half ago. And I think it's just one of those things where I'm in my, I've just touched it off. I ran a full diagnostic after SKL last night and nothing, nothing. I uh, came up with no errors, no, no code numbers, no nothing. Said everything's working as intended. So, oh, CMOS. Ah, that CMOS. Gotcha, Brasher Bear. Okay. Uh, directions unclear. Just ate moss in my yard. Uh, off to get my stomach pumped. No, it's sea moss. It's a supplement. So I'll show you when it comes in next week and just let you know, let you know how I feel. If I'm like super awesome, like crazy, ready to go. Uh, Greg Maroney's here. Remember the crew says my wife took sea moss and messed with her monthly woman time really bad. Ooh, well, I won't have to worry about that. Ed, you got the giveaway package right on, right on. That's awesome. I'm glad it, it arrived safely. That's good. I track all those, so hopefully it's good. Computers don't age well. Yeah. The hard part with that is like how much it originally cost. And then I'm like, oh, man, I just bought a computer <laughs> a couple weeks ago. But it's a it's a handheld computer. And uh, it's inside of here. You know. Just saying. Lots of creators lagging since YouTube started pushing the live shorts. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but it's really, really weird. So... Yep, hopefully we won't have to worry about that. Definitely some tissue. 
And some tissue, dude. I like your email. I love what you picked up and what you're working on. And I do have a couple um, people for you to contact. So I'll send those to you today. I'll email you. I just didn't get a chance. I was trying to get everything set up and still m messing, monkeying around, messing around with my computer. And it just didn't work. So raise estrogen levels in men too. Just be careful. Oh, okay. Let your body get used to it. Oh, sea moss. Don't leave home without it. <laughs> I love that, Marshall. It's probably the cables, yeah. And that's the thing. Like I've I've replaced so much stuff, like, and then unhooked everything, and then just running it raw, you know, and nothing still. And I, you know, I went, I dove deep, all that good stuff. That they might, I might have to look at that, Tom. Does Harbor Freight have computers? I might have to look at that. <laughs> Marshall. Chlorophyll has estrogen in it too. I blame your computer for my losing the giveaway last night. Luckily, you and Big Red are so nice. I was able to forgive and forget immediately. Nice, Funland, nice. I've been looking into Huel green powder. It's cheaper than AG1 and has good reviews. Oh, that's good to know. Zach runs it raw. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. So let's look at something else here. We had a couple things come in, but um, let's do pocket check first. Let's do pocket check. Let's do rock in the pockets. You got the custom 940 with the rock scale pocket clip. Also rock scale designs. Uh, if you want to get one of these rad pocket clips, they came out with them for some spider co's as well as Benchmade, and he just came out with some titanium tagged out scales. So if you want to get some and you want to get 10% off, use my code R-S-D-Z-E-D-C. We'll get you 10% off over at rockscaledesigns.com. Uh, no affiliate for me. It's just a 10% discount for my channel members. So that's pretty awesome that he did that for me. That's pretty good. Taking off the back cover and spray it out with the compressed air after seeing the absolute mess and laying around the heat sink. Ooh, I'll have to do that, BFV. I'll have to do that. Router's pretty good. Router's only year, year and a half old, maybe. And I did speed tests and all this with like computer and multiple devices, and it's pumping good. It's pumping good. So, like, if I watch a nor the weird part is this if I watch a normal video, and I'll get back to the pocket checks, I'm sorry, I'll go back on them. Uh, if I go to a normal video on my computer and just watch a regular video, totally fine. Works great. But it's when I get the live stream going. So it's something in the live stream drama that's got it going. Uh, Big Red, thank you for posting that up. I really appreciate that. JR Miz in the house, Platinum Crew member. What is happening? Uh, let's see here. Rule number nine has got the Hinder XM18 Spear Blade Auto Natural Bone Case Sow Belly with Cross Shield. Sapphire Victorinox Huntsman, the Olight I5R tie, ooh, nice. The Olight Red Seeker 4 Mini, and the Forest Hanks, rule number nine, Hank. El Cap Addict's got the Narrows. Greg Maroney's got the Kvist Variant PE2, all blacked out. Z Man ZDC's got the Damascus Civivi Odium. Cold Steel 8010, Spider Co Manix 2, and a Kaiser Milita for Donald Malinkovich. I blame me for losing. I'm horrible guessing numbers, says, let me get at that. Big Red post the link up for Rock Scale Design and the discount code. Thank you, Big Red. I love that. That's how I order my stuff, too. I'm like, now I got a discount code? I'm like, heck, yeah. I mean, 10% is 10%, you know? I mean, it'll pay for shipping. Unless you're ordering lots of stuff, they'll pay for more shipping. Clean out the sharpening shed. Carrying the Manx 2 Lightweight Rex 45 for Sharp Guy ATX. I need to, I need to clean out my uh, garage. That's next. Uh, Martial Law 123 has got the Buck 110 Slim and S45 VN today. Murdered out CVV Odium for Dr. Drew. That's two Odiums. Nice. Lent in the pocket today for Ed Harrison. Nice, nice. M4 bailout with RSD titanium scales. Nice for Sean Liddicote. I love it. Pocket Razor says, got the church carried today. Olight Baton 3 Pro. The Finch Buffalo Tooth Thunder Blue. The Benchmade 940 M4 Mettenvoss Victorian tie scales, a.k.a. the Vic. Uh, the Jack Wolf Sharpshooter, Jack Fat Carbon, Arctic Storm, and Junkin Genius Hank. Carried the Roboto 3 today for Let Me Get At That. Man, that's my favorite O-Knife. The Roboto 3. I love that one. 
Uh, now, if they just did like a blue anodized aluminum, ooh, a darker one, I'm in. I mean, I got the gray one, so I'm happy. I'm glad I got the gray one, so I, I can't be selfish on that. Uh, the Wee High Fin, the Aries EDC Damascus Rock Hopper for Aries EDC. And I'm just saying, check out Aries EDC, that video post this week. It'll probably be Tuesday, but man, the bloom that he sent out, man, that's wonderful work. Wonderful work, Aries EDC. I love it. Um, let's see. Do, do, do. Got the Church Carry, the Roboto 3, the Wee High Fin, the Thug for Paper Tiger, Cabela's Buck 110, and S30V for B of VGNR. Knives are Life, so Vivi Typhus Kubi, or is it Typhoeus? 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 Typhus? Kubi Wrath, Kim Karambit, Surefire, GX Pro, Skeletool. I need to brush up on these things, Knives are Life. Benchmade 237BK2201 for Fishing for Dollars. Rough Rider Reserve Red Jigged Bone Balboa for Big Red EDC. Paul Mills got the bug out in the Evo 3.0. Savivi Vision FG today for G... Oh, I thought I said G-string beard. <laughs> Six-string beard EDC. My apologies. Uh, let's see here. Maybe a memory leak? Yeah, that's why... I mean, I'm going to try those other things, and then I just got to take it into the, the boss. Be like, let's check this out, see what we got. Knives Fast is carrying the CJRB Bowie Pyrite and the Tempest Microjet. Bug out in a case large... Copper Lock for James Alton. Deco with Magna Cup for Troy N. CK has got the Lynch for Mini Freak. And a Murdered 940 Osborne. I suspect it's KC Hog and all YouTube's bandwidth, says El Cap. <laughs> hey, I'm not doing the, the, what is that? The Narrows? No, what do they call it? Vertical? I don't know. I'm not doing that one. I tried it a few times on some lives. Some other stuff. It's okay. But, yeah, I mean, it's hard to watch. Like, I have 13% of my viewers watching on TV. That really makes it a poor, poor video experience. Um, Rock Stock Buck 739 for Tom Weingart. Hashtag money for knives, not nonsense. Shootout for Malice. Malice in the house, member of the crew. Some tissues got the Starry Night G Carter scales and polished damage steel blade on the Crooked River. Shot Show Bailout, the Orange Arkfeld Pro with a blue clip swap, a 1923 and a 2023 piece dollars. Gons has got the Terzola ATCF Light, Lancelot Wallet, Blue Elephant Hank, and the Taurus G2C. Goon Docks got the Kaiser Kobold 2 in 4V. Roman Ends jumping in. What's up? Kathleen Smith's got the Mini Labrador and the Nola Chucky Jack. Crooked River with Carbon Fiber Scales for Napster Ninja. G. Woodward's got the Shaman today. The Finch Holiday White Bone Handle for Jay Hardesty. Don't, don't talk too loud about that. Somebody might come take that for you. I like that. I like that. Uh, Kaiser Kobold 2 in 4V. We talked about that. Uh, please forgive me all. OT building cabinet doors at the shop. Nice splitting slices. Nice. All right. We banter Warncliffe today for Big Jimpin'. Joe Casper's in the house, Devo Mash, Savivi Cogent Button Lock, and the Phoenix LD30. Chupacabra and the Mini Adamas for Louie. Uh, dun, dun. Bushcraft Reboot has got the Phobos Tier 1, Mini Gen 3, Leatherman Surge, Olight Mini Warrior 2, Sniper Sling S, Ace Slingshot, and the Exotac Fire Sleeve. Anybody else remember the Pocket Trout? <laughs> Wish I could find one of those funsies. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, you got the gray one too, Lemmy? Nice, nice. Uh, dun, dun. Dave Bruins in the house. John Graham Pocket Kirkery. Kirkery. Finch Holiday and a Key Two O Venture for Pocket Stuff. NBL Old Guard. Monterey Bay Knives. Old Guard. I love it for Kevin Nelson. Uh, Stephen Clayton Jr.'s got the Remnant Alliance Gorge. The Mini Tonto. The TKL Combatant. TS-87 FLN3, the Guardian, the Night Stalker CG, Piranha, the Accomplice, the MR1, the Regiment Blades, Cole, Colonel Blade, Cole Blade, uh, Midgard Messer, and the Mini Axe, Crudo SD5. Rocking my new Spyderco and Della and 20CB that I received for my birthday last week, says Matt. Right on, Matt. Happy belated birthday. 
of the Wee Thug XL and Wee Trogon today for Pizza Operator. LCB Blades Edge, got the Migron Morial, the Spiderco Upturn, the Remnant, or not Remnant, Remet Rhino, the Kaiser Denim Wallet, and the Fossil Watch. Do, do, do. Guess what? I get to spend half my weekend in jury duty. Yes, says Marshall. I, I pictured that like fist down. Yes, pulled into the body. Bichet's got the Demco Sharp Club Slicer, Devo Stout Version 2 Pro Mac, Proton and LMAX, JWK, Little Bro Jack, Carry Culture Hank, Ray Light, Lan Apple, Fidget Boy, Boo Boo Slider, Devo Stout Version 2, and a Protec Mordax for JR Miz. On the Peloton, nothing in the pocket, says Palmer. Very nice. Funland's got the Kubi Varejo and a Wii Esprit. Uh, dun, dun. Vertical Lives. Yeah, vertical, vertical. Best Tech Sin, the Manix 2, the Matt Esse, Matt Esse Striga. I, I don't, I'm not sure on all these names, so Kaleidoscope and Knives, right on. I guess you got to you gotta come up with stuff when people got other knives. Name another knives, another knives. You're like, I got the... 42 in uh, S45. Um, let's see here. The Kubi Tidious. Love that name, Pepperdingo. Uh, dun, dun. Fishing says I watch it on the TV. Nice. Nice, nice. It'll do something kind for someone. Splitting slices, carrying the PF Victor in Lake Champlain, Barlow, Sheep's Foot. Joe's Bell's got the Damascus Best Tech Skirmish the with Fordite Bead and a Case Medium Stockman in Deep Sea. Dick roll I am. Dick roll I am. <laughs> uh, gotta run. Take care, Palmer. Did anyone get the JWs on their sale? Pocket Razor says, Jay Hardesty. Just saying. My Journey EC is here. Remember the crew? What's up? Do, 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 do. A pocket trout with a modern LED would be so cool. What's up, Mark Grant? We just talked about CMOS a little bit ago. Thank you for the advisory on that. We're going to give it a run this week, see how it goes. My Journey EC's got the Vostied Raccoon, the Vostied Corgi Pup, the Olight Baton Pro, Alpha Gear Smartwatch, Leatherman Rev, and a Hellcat. Okay, it's like ready to go. Silva's here. What's up, Silva? How are you? Welcome in. Carrying a sweet griptilian a brother gave me, says M-Bomb. Nice. The Civivi Vision CPM Magna Doodle. <laughs> I like that. Right on, right on. Definitely, and your wife is going to be happy. Oh, snap, snap. Love blue knife on the table. Yep, so we'll talk about that. What I'm carrying today is actually going to be this 940 right here. We built this one off of the chassis, we'll say, and hardware of the 940 JG10 with the M4. And we went with the Death Grips Arctic Carbon Fiber, Arctic Storm Carbon Fiber. Death Grips did the milling, made these beautiful scales. And just saying, deathgrips.com or deathgripscales.com. Go over there, check it out. If you see something on his website, it's not there in stock. Email him. He'll get you on the next run. And of course, the beautiful Mini Adamas. That sweet, sweet Burgundy Micarta from the SHOT Show a little bit ago. Now, we are going to do a little update. We had the scales sent back to me from Original Goat um, for the MSI. And just wanted to share with you the status of that knife and the scales. So, let's get into it. There's the MSI. And there's the scales that are on it. So, went back to the Rock Stock original Grivery FRN, whatever you want to call it. Because, now there's some things that obviously... The aluminum scales have for it but the way that clip does not match up and they told me it's just how we designed it i'm not i'm not down with that so i um, gonna have a local person mill those out but in the meantime i put this back together um, carried it a couple days this last week it is fantastic it is wonderful 
So to me, it's one of those knives. It's really awesome. Yeah, rule number nine, love your MSI as well. I like it. So the aluminum scales, it's just one of those things, you know, you can't get one little thing done and that's how they designed it. Um, when they told me and I sent video and pictures and then they're like, yeah, send it to us. So I priority shipped it to them. Thank you, Big Red, for all the links. Appreciate that link posting. Um, but yeah, it's just a very, very sad deal that they would do that, you know, because I'm like, come on, man. Um, so overall, I don't know. I'm going to try to mill those out because Lynch Northwest, April 30th, coming out with an MSI pocket clip. And I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. So uh, speaking of Lynch Northwest, we got some fun things here from Lynch. So we're going to open these up really quick. And let's see here. Be like, ooh. I don't even know which ends of which. Hold on. Which? Oh, it's over here. They do such a good job with all their packaging and everything. Make sure we get all that uncut. Be like, cover up the addresses. Whatever. You guys can send me some stuff if you want. You know how to get a hold of me. So we got the another ProTech Clip Standard Blacksmith because I have another one to put those on. But I also got the wire replacement Spyderco standard blacksmith. And that's for a build we have coming up. So we're going to see that one. And of course, they always send a little bit of swag, which is awesome. They put the date on there. Thank you. Thanks, Zach, for your OG support. Or maybe it's Oregon for OR. But a couple Lynch stickers. Pretty awesome of them. So we'll put that into the pile. But one to share. We got those clips in. Just saying, just saying. Blade Walker, member for three months. Much love to you all, good folks. Now, we do have a couple other things that have been sent in. Um, I want to talk about those. Let's talk about this one first. Now, um, this, is, this is also another post office thing. I'm just going to say. Um, so, Justin, if you're listening... OCD for EDC, there might be a little more evidence pointing towards the Portland post office people. I like my people, but they're not earning themselves a good name. So this one came, I stuck it back down, but this one came like pre-opened like this. Um, obviously it was just stuck with the regular sticky envelope. So luckily the sender put a couple pieces of tape over here. So it kept it from fully being open, but they you know, decided to pre-open it. And technically you can get in here and get to stuff that's inside. So hopefully it's all there. I'm just saying, I mean, don't harass them, but if your MSI scales have the same issue, you should definitely let them know. Yeah. And there's multiple people that have the same issue on their MSI scales and they're telling me that's how they designed it. So rut row. Yep, exactly. So we're going to open this up very gently. I'm going to try to do it over here. See if we can open it up very gently. Might have to use another blade. Might have to strop that up. Need a little strop. Joe Isabella, member for five months. Some wonderful person. Renewed me when I wasn't looking. I love this community. Thank you. Right on, Joe Isabella. Some great people here. Well, DSKFS. Stick to the blades too. Member of the crew for six months. DSKFS. Stay sharp, blade addicts. Well, let me get at that. I've had some really good luck with the uh, the post office, you know, and it's just some of these like odd things where it's like, okay, but you never know. Now, this is some Aloha. Maybe just letters of disappointment. Yeah. This is some Aloha DSKFS. So I've been told, oh, we got a, a very serious Ziploc bag here. All right, we're going to have to do a little more opening, I guess. Watch the fingers. Cut towards yourself. That's the safest direction. Just kidding. Don't do this, kids. Cut away. Cut away. Oh, that's all good, Mark. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, my. Kauai Cigar Company. Ooh, that's why it's got a special bag. Oh, look at this. Coconut Bliss. 
coconut and honey macadamias. Oh, look at that. Now, this is from Big Red EDC. Yeah, the, the response to me was just like, oh, yeah, uh, you know, that's how we designed it. And sorry, I should have noticed it from the photos in the video. Oh, my goodness. This is awesome. It looks like everything was in there. So that is awesome, Big Red. Thank you so much for doing that. He just returned from the islands. And, of course, we're going to have to try these. So hold on just a second. But look at this. We've got to check, take a peek and smell this real quick. That's awesome. All right, hold on. I'm going to open it up. I sealed it up pretty good. It's Island Prince from Luana Iki. Hand rolled. Okay. Send that out to the peeps. Did I win? How do I enter? What's up, Mass Faction? Gold class crew member. Some serious Hawaiian DSKFS. Some Aloha. Ooh, that smells good. That smells really good. The Prince. All right, we'll put it back in there. That is awesome. Thank you, Big Red. We'll have to have a special little ceremony. Right? Yeah, who else uses those? <laughs> the Aloha State. Made in Hawaii. Poipu Beach. All right, let's take a look at this. Got some Aloha swag. We got to look at the Aloha swag. It's the best part. Got the roosters. The roosters. Paradise does exist. The Masubi truck. Kauai. I love that. Go with the flow. Koloa. The Koloa Rum Company. It's the Aloha State of Mind. Puka dog. Puka dog. Hawaiian style hot dogs. I'll have to try that. Oh, look at that. It says Kauai. I'll have to put that on the vehicle. That'll be fun. <laughs> I'll stick it on the vehicle at work. But like, it's all good. It's all good. Hawaiian tobacco wrapped in Puerto Rican leaf, if I remember correctly. Ooh, nice. Nice. Well, I don't want it to go bad, so I'll have to, you know, try it soon. <laughs> Any Alice B in that? I don't think so. I don't think so. What's up, Neil McKenzie? Drink water, remember the crew? Yeah, very awesome. Thank you, Big Red, for doing that. And let's try these out. Let's see here. Hold on. Oh. I want to clear the palate, so I got to get a drink of water here. Hold on real quick. I had some, some Dutch Bros. You know, if you're ready to earn rewards, scan right there. But Dutch Bros, thanks to Mrs. Zach for picking that up. All right, so we got some coconut bliss macadamias, serving size one ounce. All right, get the scale out. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? Get the scale out. Okay, we got an ounce. That's 200 calories. That just means they're really good. Uh, mac kawaii grown macadamia nuts, pure cane sugar, water, kawaii grown coconut, kawaii honey, less than 2% spice. Dude, that's so awesome. All right. Yummy. How much for the whole bag? <laughs> oh, look at those. This is going to be good. I can smell them already. Man. Macadamias are good. I like macadamia nuts. There's a little halfer. Mmm. Yeah, that was good. Serving size all. Yep, M bomb. Cheating on you with someone else's nuts. Can you smell them? Taste them. They're really good here. Yummy. Take it out. <laughs> yeah, heck yeah. I should have only grabbed two. There's a lot of nuts in my mouth. Bleh. All right. Mo better deal getter. 
Watch City Knives. I know. Ah. This one taped very, very well. Now, I got to be especially careful with this one because I saw who the sender was. I agree, Joe. Look at all this. M-bomb jerky, a handful of nuts, and a mouthful of meat. I love these new stickers. These look good, man. I think I opened it the right way, too. Oh, I got some nerds, some nuts, some Jolly Ranchers, a little root beer candy. That is awesome. This is M-bomb jerky. If you haven't heard, check it out. Now, what flavor did we get? Look at that. Nice bag of meat. Oh, the DSKFS secret flavor. So now I was told that this was gifted to me by someone. And I think that is going to be pocket razors if I remember correctly. So this DSKFS flavor is amazing. It can only be gifted to someone. You can't just buy it. So this is really, really awesome. I know the flavor. All right, Neil, have, have a good rest of your work day. Right? Exactly, Manisfaction. Yeah, I scratch and sniff. <laughs> so that is really cool. Oh, yeah. I agree, rule number nine. Dropping the heat. This is really, really good stuff. But yeah, m.bombjerky at gmail.com. You hit them up on Instagram as well. Big Red posted the link up earlier as well. And to check that out, Bama fans in the house. What is up, Bama fan? But yes, M-Bomb Jerky. Ah, oh, man, this is so awesome. Somebody gifted this to me through M-Bomb. This can only be gifted. Yeah, Big Red says, man, my bag of DSKFS jerky was loaded with sticky awesomeness. And there's the link right there. Fook Doozles in the house, member of the crew. So thank you, M-Bomb, and thank you, Pocket Razors. Because I think you were behind this, so this is awesome. And I would say, buy some for yourself, and then like work a team up with somebody else here in the chat. Be like, I will order one for you, you order one for me, because this is the best flavor yet. My personal opinion. Very good people. So thank you for that. And Mass Faction, I agree, the root beer barrels are top notch. But M-Bomb Jerky, he's got all sorts of flavors. Um, if you look at Pocket Razors, he did a channel chat, or sorry, pocket talk with me last week, and we got it posted up. Um, he actually, on his live stream last Thursday, opened up a big package of meat from Embalm. So if you haven't subscribed yet, which I know so many of you have, which is awesome, go check out Pocket Razors over on the YouTubes. Now, we got something else sent in. I had to open this up because... Can, I cannot describe it because it'll give it away, El Cap. It's it's amazing. Y'all, thanks, Mass Faction. Yeah, it was fun. I, I will enjoy that tasty mouthful of meat, yes. Um, we had something that was sent in. And I, did, I thought, I was like, well, I didn't order anything from them, but I forgot they all share like a warehouse. Um, so I did open it up. And we do have... Like the fix, I guess you could say. I don't know. Let's just open it up up here. I had to open it because I thought it was like something from one of the knife dealers. But it's from a different knife company. Anyways, it's all, it's all weird, but it'll make sense here in just a minute. Oh, yeah, just put all my info on there. It's all good. <laughs> See, they like blasted my info all over it. That's all right. Well, it's what it is. All right, let's get this opened up. <laughs> wee -oo, wee -oo. All right. Well, good thing it didn't have my like date of birth and stuff on there. So they sent out a patch 
MKM made in Italy. And they sent out a set of thumb studs. Now, this, we'd like to make it right, they said. The MKM Yipper. It was a NAFS, NAFS Co. exclusive. And so I went ahead and pulled out that box, which is here. Because I haven't done anything with this knife yet because the knife was actually hitting the barrel spacers. And so they said, oh, we're just going to, we've designed a bigger pocket clip. And we're just going to, or not a pocket clip, barrel spacers. And we're just going to use those as basically like a stop. So the blade doesn't come down and smack those barrel spacers. So it's going to be more of a blade stop. I don't know. I bet, Palmer. What's up, Abraxas? So they've, they've sent out a couple bigger thumb studs. I mean, and they're like, they're like legit bigger, right? So you can see the size difference. Size matters when it comes to this, I guess. Um, so I'm going to install those and put those on unless they have, oh, do they have a little thing? We can, we may just put them on right now. Hold on. Um, where is my toolkit? Hello toolkit. Oh, there it is. I just put it back together too. What's up? Hey, it's nice. They broke the chain of nuts and meat jokes. Yeah. Size matters, so I've been told. All right, so if we're guessing, I doubt they went eight on these. I'm guessing they went six. Yeah. So let's go six. The budget guy KT in the house. No. They go seven? <laughs> it's Italy, so they got to be weird, right? <laughs> or maybe I need the metric ones. I'm just kidding. Uh, let's try seven. Of course, they went seven. Okay. And this one's seven as well. Let me double check and just make sure the eight doesn't fit on this one. Yep, too big. Oh, no, the eight does fit. Eight fits perfect, so they did go eight. All right. I was thinking crazy Italian. It's like, what in the world? So let's see if this comes off easily, sort of. We had to put a little pressure into it. Um, obviously... Blade safety, number one priority. I don't know which side we're going to do which, but I mean, it's magnet cut, you know. <laughs> eh, that's what it is. It's a fun little knife, but I mean, I guess this is one way to fix things. Illuminati Ninja member for 15 months. Gold class crew member. Says hashtag be up and hashtag DSKFS. Much love, brothers and sisters of the blade. Thank you, Bluminati. We got a little something coming up from you that you had gifted. So we put that into the giveaway today as well. I'm trying to see if this, for some reason, this isn't fitting. I don't know why that's not fitting. Stand by. Let's see if it fits. Wouldn't that be funny if it doesn't fit together? It's like, uh, yeah, these don't screw together. Hmm. Well. For some reason, it's not wanting to screw together. These are the, like, live stream problems. I mean, you can see it's lined up, right? And we're putting that in there. I mean, I wanted to use this one because it was lined up 100%. All right, stand by. Makes it more fun on the live stream. Be like, can we do it? <laughs> and not get cut. <laughs> uh, kids, tape your blades. A little blue or frog, you know, blue tape, painter's tape, frog tape, something like that. Okay, I'm going backwards to see if I can get any of those edges. 
Yeah, these aren't these aren't these aren't going together. Ah, <sighs> so the thumb studs they they sent out. Let's try. They're not threading on each other. I don't I don't know. Let me make sure. Yep, small one, big one. You can see the difference. Small one, big one, yep. And there's only one way. There's only one hole on one side. I don't get it. I just don't get it. It's thumb studs. So, I don't know why they won't thread. They're not magnetic, so that's even more of a bonus. Well, we'll try it one more time here. I mean, I'm holding them flat. Trying to get something to bite. Did they not thread them? They drilled them the wrong size? All right, let's put the knife down. Let's try to do it one more time. This is the most awesome stuff, right? I mean, I don't know how else to thread a single-sided set of thumb studs. Typical MKM quality is what I'm, I'm hearing. All right, well, we'll reach out to them, I guess, and say, hey, got it on video. Tried to uh, thread these. Any hints? And uh, we'll go from there. So still don't have a usable knife that's not going to damage itself. So we put it away gently and we move on to the next thing. So yeah, sorry about wasting your time, but we can all thank MKM. Thanks, MKM. <laughs> I just don't get it. I just don't get it. <laughs> uh, I did turn them off and on. Yeah, <laughs> it still didn't work. Uh, it's just hilarious. Are they counter threads? I tried to go both directions and it wouldn't bite either direction. So I don't know. I'll reach out to them, let them fix it, I guess. I mean, it was a free fix they sent us, right? So $140 plus shipping. And the first version didn't work, so they sent another version with, you know, another set of thumb studs to say, hey, bigger thumb studs, they'll work as a stop pin as well for the blade, you know, coming back. Like, uh, okay, okay. Anyways. You haven't opened it? All right. Fair enough, fair enough. So that wasn't really a fix. That was more of a problem that they sent. So I'll reach out to Ben Peterson. You know, it's it was his stuff that he did a collab with from them and we'll see what he has to say now i do have to say there's a really cool thing that got sent to me and i forgot to check i didn't ask in all the conversation we had but there was something sent to me from a company called metal relic and this was a dskfs thing they sent to me i blame the french yeah exactly Oh, Crispy's here. What's up, Crispy? Kevin Smith and Knives as well. So I don't know if you've ever heard of Metal Relic. I pulled up the website. I was told not to look at the website unless I just link it. I did that. I saw some wild and crazy things on there. So we're going to open this one up. We're going to see what's inside. But I was told this is like a DSKFS thing that I can do whatever I want with. Give it away. Um, but the most important thing is they want, they're trying to get the word out of their company. So, uh, do me a favor, at least go over to their website, big red posted the link up right there, metalrelic.com. Uh, a guy by the name of Jeremy Workheiser, and I'm probably saying it wrong. Uh, making all of this awesome stuff that you see on the website. 
But literally out of the blue, an awesome channel member here is like, hey, here you go. And I don't know if they want to be recognized. So I, I like I said, I totally forgot about that. Brian Kerr is here. What's up, Brian? So I'm going to open this up. I'm going to see what's... Oh, we got stuff coming out the other end. We got some stuff in the box. All right. Oh, the little... Uh, the wooden clothespin broke, so I'll have to fix that. But basically, metalrelic.com had a little wooden clothespin, but that fell apart, so I'll put that back together later. Maybe with the thumb studs from the MKM. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Uh, here's some info right here. Oh. Ooh, there's a coupon code on here, too. I don't know if I should be using that. Ooh, okay. They do make some cool stuff. Oh, uh, I haven't checked them out before. So we're going to see. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Made in the USA. I'm just saying. Made in the USA. Mother's Day is coming up. Hint, hint. Wink, wink. Handmade with love in the USA. Look at, all right, we got to get this out of here. This, now I gotta I gotta do some research on this. Oh yeah, some amazing stuff. Oh yeah, okay. This is oh my gosh. This is heavy duty. This is super heavy duty. This is obviously a metal rose. Has that like cherry red finish to it. I'm gonna have to raise my camera way up. Um Obviously, a metal stem and everything as well. Every rose has its thorn. Yeah, I like that. But this is beautiful. Look at the metal coating. Or uh, not the metal coating, the paint. <laughs> I, I want I to say kind of that metal flake finish to it. This is the word I was looking for. Has that like shimmer. That's beautiful. So... All right, let's start a band of band knives and band and rose. Oh yeah, band knives and roses. Yeah, I like that. Oh man, Beaver Baron, what's up? Platinum crew member, thank you for being here. Thank you for the super chat. What's up, Ron? Also jumping in. The DLC rose. Oh good, I like that. Sounds like a song. Yeah, exactly. What's up, Chris? Welcome in as well. B for Baron, member for 34 months. Check them out. So I saw they had roses, but I saw there was some wicked, wicked stuff on there as well. Um, this is really cool. Obviously, this could be planted in your flower garden. You could put this in the house somewhere as well in a plant. This is some good work. So Jer it looks like Jeremy's putting out some quality, quality work. Um, metal relic there's phone number email address website check that out really appreciate him sending this out we'll probably do a giveaway as you know i like to do a giveaway with all this stuff so i'm gonna have, maybe i'll put this in the mother do a mother's day giveaway with this Ooh, that's a good idea that's really good so check them out that's really cool uh and i'll work on the other stuff and and bring it back next week to see if this discount code applies but it's called the Immortal Rose. Oh, I like that. I was told this needs to be a super secret until I open it. I didn't even know what was going to be in here. Yeah, that would be a great addition to a Mother's Day giveaway. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> awesome sauce, man. This is really cool. Some beautiful work. I wonder what else is on there. I saw some like wild and crazy stuff, and I was like, oh, my gosh. I have to definitely check this stuff out when I get done opening it. Mr. Fluffy's in the house. Give it to your mom. Yeah, she might like that. She might like that. We'll see how it goes. I just, you know, I want to respect the DSKFS as well. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely, definitely. All right, so what we've all been waiting for is we need to recognize B for Baron for his 34 months. <laughs> And a super chat. So thank you so much, Beefer, for that. That is awesome. DSKFS to your mom. I like that. Who be your finger? Oh, it's just I'm just trying to get it to heal up. It's nothing. It's no bite. It's no super secret reveal or anything. Or is it? 
<laughs> all right, all right. Let's see here. Let me. I got. I got a couple other things I wanted to share. Stuff that uh, you know. Hopefully, you've seen the uh, the video this week. It's got some low, some low views. I think people are just like, meh, not for me. So they don't want to view the video. But I don't know. I always tell you, you never know if you leave a comment, what'll happen. You know, you know. <laughs> and let's see here. Should we do? Yeah, let's just do it this way. Okay. We're just going to do it this way. Lonnie, use your daughter for parts, you monster. Oh. Modem reset. Uh oh. Now, these are the Benchmade Mini Auto Adamuses. They also made these. I don't know why I opened them that way. Hello, we're on a live stream. People would like to see the product. Please point towards camera. All right. So I haven't seen too many comments. I've seen a couple, but the faux holes, faux holes, faux holes. Um, obviously, they have the locking mechanism inside. There was one person, I think it was Pocket Razors, brought up a point saying, well, maybe the, the full-size autos have the holes, but maybe on the mini it was too close. It would mess with that locking mechanism. I'm not sure. I thought that just slid in, in place from what I remember. But of course, they did the, the beautiful MagnaCut Mini Auto with the same look and feel as the manual version. So you have the manual version, of course. All it has is an additional thumb stud that's coated. Maybe I could use those thumb studs. Huh. Anyways, yeah, no, no studs on it. Kind of looks naked going in the buff. Um, these actually flip better than the MagnaCut one. I don't know if it's the liners or if this one just got played with more. This one's a little snappier. They will obviously get snappier. Or if you get them dirty, they will get dirtier. Um, but, of course, you know, they kept it. I like how they just kept it real. You know, with all of them. This one's a little, this one's a little springy. Ready for some action. Like, put me to work. Let's do the Zach. Uh, of course, they went with the crew wear coated on the other two. So, yeah. Naked Adamus. Yeah. The Naked Mini. The Naked Mini. But lock works good. I just, I like the look of the carbon fiber. I will say... And I said in my video, this mini is the best you're going to get right now. Pricing, everything else. Magna cut, carbon fiber, all the accents done. Just saying. And I think one big is like, uh, let's see. Joe says, I really like the holes that way because I want to get the carbon fiber one and make mammoth inlays for the holes. Ooh, that would look sick. I like that. I need to see if someone wants to trade one of those for a mini auto striker. There you go. Trades are always fun. But overall, like, the mini, you can't beat the mini price that's manual. But these are the three that just came out. Um, we're going to put these into our pass-around group, so you'll be seeing some more of these on different channels. And I'm looking forward to people's opinion on them uh, because a lot of people haven't checked out the mini Adamus, let alone the manual, let alone the auto. So it would be kind of cool to get people's opinion and – See what they compare it to, you know? That's that's the best part about the knife world, right? Seeing what everybody else thinks. Yeah, I like the carbon fiber one. I mean, I have all three of the manuals already from before, but um, if I was if I was to buy one of these, it would be the carbon fiber one probably. I'd probably save up and buy that one. Big Red EDC Super Chat with the DSKFS. Hashtag do something kind for someone. Don't forget, check out the SKL, which is Saturday Knife Live from last night on Big Red DC's channel. He had a reveal. Um, first 20 minutes or so, you'll see what the reveal is. <laughs> Kevin Search, member of the crew, says, got my mini. Love it. A with AWT scales. Ooh, yeah, the AWT scale upgrade would be awesome on those. K 
Kevin, Kevin Smith, the nine says, I love my mini Adamus. I think it's, I think that it's one that's underrated. It's that good. That good. Yeah. Any mini auto, any mini auto Adamus or mini manual Adamus or Adamus. They're solid full stainless steel liners. So if you can get any of them, even the just manual black version, it's just solid. You know, this one's been well used and abused, literally. Um, still operating like a champ. And strops up very nicely in the crew wear. Like the triage, I like triage too. Like that 2730-3. Yeah, yeah. All right. So we talked about the Benchmade Auto Mini Adamas. And I'm just going to say, leave a comment on that video. You know, just going to say, leave a comment on there. And only the people that are, you know, of the thousands of people that will watch, there may only be less than 100 comments. So, pretty good odds for whatever happens, just saying. All right. Now, we've talked about it. One of our awesome community members, Dave Burge. You're at 420 views on that RFN. RFN. Not saying, just saying, hashtag. Yeah, so one of the things is, is Dave Burge, one of our community members, writes an article a couple times a month about EDC life. And he works for a news agency. And it's really cool to see him put his perspective out there. He does a really good dive on his topic. So definitely check out his most recent article. Thank you, Big Red, for posting the link up for the Mini Auto Adamas. I'm sure he'll post up the link for Dave's new article as well. There's Dave's new EDC article right there. Give it a watch. You know, pull it up right now in a new tab. Just save it, read it. It's really cool. It's really cool that he does that. And I love to just support, right? He uses his own money to buy stuff. So we may have to send him a little Benchmade care package. You know, we already sent him some DSKFS swag and such but i think it'd be kind of cool to put together something so we'll be talking to a couple people offline and sending them maybe a little uh dskfs bench made package oh it's old four years older than you that's crazy palmer what are you like 14 i'm just kidding i had a bug out gave it to my brother-in-law a couple weeks ago he always picked it up first, looking through my collection. Couldn't believe it was so lightweight, so I gave it to him. That's awesome, Kevin. The life community is a family. 100%, Ron. <laughs> Love it. All right. 17, baby. The 3200 is from 2002. That is awesome. There's some great, great products out there. Well, I think it's time. I think it's time. That we like the pocket razors. Super chat says, speaking of comments, we like to see that like button used as well. Come on, let's bounce on that bad boy. Thank you, pocket razors. Yeah, let's hit those likes. Let's get them up over 100. We're up at a 103 now. We've got 135 people in the live stream. Let's do this. Your video went from 45 comments to 60 in the last few minutes. It's how it goes. People doing that gently murder the like button. <laughs> right on. Appreciate that. What Benchmade should do an aluminum anthem? Aluminum anthem. That's a very interesting thought, Nick. What's up, Nick? Martino, member of the crew. How are you? Good to see you, Nick. Yeah, and it would be interesting to see an aluminum anthem. I like the titanium, but that's good. Brian Kerr, member of the crew for three months. Already time flies when you're having fun in a great community. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Appreciate that. Rory Calhoun's in the house. He was here early, too. Thanks for the reminder, Pocket Razors. Crispy Critter's here. Member for 11 months. Zach, appreciate you, brother. Hashtag DSKFS is a lifestyle. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> an integral carbon fiber anthem. Ooh. 
There's some good ones out there. Some good ones. I've been watching on my TV this whole time. Nice, Nick. Nice. Well, I appreciate you being here. Appreciate you watching. And, of course, leaving a comment as well. I still... All right. Hold on. This is just bothering me. I just... Really quick. This is just bothering me. It's just bothering me. Hold on. We got... We just... One more... One more college try. Right? All right, we got the T8. We got the tourist driver. One more time. Brand new American member for 15 months. Gold class crew member. May all your Amazon dreams come true. I am all hot and bothered. This pisses me off. I, I just don't get it, right? Like... If this is truly an error on their fault, are they not checking these? They're just milling them and shooting them out the door? So the old ones were standard thread. I'm trying to put it in there at different angles to see if I can get a grip. All right, we're going to pull out our tool. We're going to see if we can fix it. Stand by. All right, hold on. <laughs> I know, I'm stupid. That's all right. It doesn't even look like there's threads on this, bro. It looks like there's no threads on this. Whatsoever. I know you guys probably can't see that, but... I mean, I there's no... I don't see any threads in there. I mean, there's threads on this. Oh, my gosh. Uh, okay, so we're going to do a thread checker. Hold on. I'm going to see this should fit inside there, right? And I should feel threads. Nope. Nope, not a thread whatsoever. Nope. Super smooth. So basically missing one machine part, which is or machine process, which is milling out the threads on the female side of the thumb studs. So yay. Yep. Good thing they checked it before they shipped it because they want to make it right. You know, Hey Zach, we want to make this right. Oh, okay. Are they going to come, you know, do it for me. <sighs> well, I'm glad I double checked. Ken Faulkner's in the house. What is up, Ken? Ken, 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 Ken. <laughs> All right. It's not press fit because the other ones are, um, there's screws on the other side. They're not ribbed for his pleasure. You become the official live stream QC police, apparently. I guess so. I, I just don't know. Like, I literally, a hammer will fix it. I don't think so. That dog won't hunt. I love that dog, <laughs> but that dog won't hunt. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you stripped out the threads when you opened the package. Yeah, they'd say something like that. I mean, honestly, I just, I don't know why it's so hard. I don't know why. Poncho 151, Platinum crew member, jumped in late. What was the deal with the thumb stud and where it's from? So this is the MKM Yipper, the collab they did with NAF, NAFCO, Ben Peterson. The original thumb studs basically were just fine, right? The original thumb studs, totally fine, totally good to go, which I'll have to put those back on, so I might as well do it now. But basically, yeah, you can see the threads in those. You can even feel them, I bet. Yep. Yep, you can feel the threads in those. So it's just one of those, the blade was traveling too far when it closed. So it was smacking the barrel spacers. You know, awesome engineering on their part. But they said, oh, to fix it, we'll just send out bigger diameter thumb studs 
So that'll actually work as a stop on the blade so it won't close and bang the, the barrel spacers, which whatever, it's a cheap fix. They don't have to redo all the blades, like the geometry of the blades. I don't know, just a thought, you know? But like these, these screw right back in. Look at that. I mean, it's not hard. It's thumb studs, right? And it's good. I mean, mine's, mine's good. It's not bad. But, you know, do you want to start getting stuff where that blade's going to travel too far because they messed up how the pivot is on the engineering? Whatever. So they sent out thicker. They sent a patch, too, because they want to make it right. But they sent out thicker or wider in diameter thumb studs to make that stop. And the female side of the thumb studs not even milled out. There's no, there's no milling in it. So it's just, it doesn't screw together. I don't get it. Ah, yeah. I'll, I mean, I can see if the other one fits, but to me, that's not the point. Yeah. Half the fatter one, half the original. I think I can Todd, but to me, it's like, it's not the point, right? 139 bucks for a blade to hit the back columns is crazy. I get it. They messed up and it's too expensive for them to fix it the right way. So they're like, Hey, we're just going to send people bigger thumb studs. And then the thumb studs won't even go together. I would imagine I'm not the only one that's having a problem with that. So I'll message Ben today and go, Hey, how's it going? Kevin C what's happening. Yeah. It's just ridiculous, man. It's just ridiculous on that stuff. But I want to do a giveaway today. Um, so people have sent some stuff in as well for this giveaway. So I want to just give a shout out to Bluminati, to everyone that has donated stuff. We're going to put some slick -em all in there. As you know, it is the best. Just send it back. They're like free. Yeah, I should send the whole thing back and just get a refund. But I mean, it's a cool little knife. And I was waiting to do the review because it's like, hey, they send a fix out. And if a manufacturer is like, hey, we're fixing it, I want to give them that opportunity. Now, you're going to get a Zach Stuff swag pack. It's got the DSKFS patch, the stickers in it. You guys know what's in there. But we're going to do some other patches. We're going to do some Hogue, some Glow Rhino. We're also going to do a keychain from Oregon Truck and Auto Authority. Pocket Razors, thank you for that. Big Red, you can only win them. The Saturday Knife Live Ranger Eye, that's going to be in the giveaway. Uh, I picked up some River's Edge Cutlery, like mini Rangers that are out there. And then our man himself, Bluminati Ninja. We got the sticker pack and that awesome, beautiful patch. He sent these for giveaways. So thank you so much. That is awesome. That's going in the giveaway as well. Now, all right, right? Yeah, Mark. Oh, I know. I know it's, it's functional, but I've been waiting to do the review. So Alicord Paracord, Saturday Night Live from Big Red, Hogue Knives, the Hogue OTF sticker, the man himself, O oh Father EDC, jumping in there. We got the OCD for EDC, flag swag, and the bonjour bitches. We got Jay Korskin in jumping in, member for six months. Does the swag come with big red stick on tattoo? Not yet, not yet. <laughs> Love that. Brian F., member of the crew, thanks for being here. We also got that elusive, out of stock, let's get high centered on pelvic bone sticker. So that's going in the, the swag pile. The C. Risner Cutlery, Christmas, and of course the traditional pocket knives, American flag sticker, some Vertex, some big red EDC. Check out his reveal from last night, Glow Rhino. And of course, we can't be missing out with some split and slices. Another good YouTube channel. KC Knives Fast is back. Just did three more reviews for a total of five today. Oh, my goodness. KC's going crazy on us. Craig Vincent's in the house as well. What's up, Blade Walker? Thanks for being here as well. You were here earlier, so I appreciate it. <laughs> and we also got Rickard 100. Member for seven months. Look at this achievement. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, guys. That is awesome. I appreciate all your support. Nick Martino, member for eight months, says hashtag DSKFS, hashtag be up, and hashtag Zach Attack.
YD Knives in the house. What's up, YD? Yeah, exactly right. Those knives better be available for purchases, Mass Faction. Don't be giving them a little, hey, how are you? Then hashtag no bids for Natty. No Natty for Maddie. Come on now. All right. We had a couple other things. Where did they go? These are some buttes. Swagalicious. Swagalicious. Anybody at Coachella this weekend? All right. We got an O-Tackle multifunction knife. The O-Tackle K1. Aluminum alloy handle. The blade is 50CR15MOV. 50CR15 MOV. Some cool stuff. But we're putting that in there as well. Where do we put that? Like right here? Maybe we'll put it up here. Because we got one more thing that we're going to put out there. A little diffuse in red. The red diffuse. Big red. Hopefully you got one of these. Because these are fantastico. Very, very, very bright light. And this one is 700 lumen on turbo. And high is 350. So these are fantastic. I have one myself. I love it. Gone says, Daddy needs a win this week. So we're going to put that up there as well. But it leaves a little. Oh, Phoenix arrived. <laughs> That's why Mass Fashion is like, Are you sick today? <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> now, we do have something from PNW Fun Stuff. Um, I'm going to showcase that next week in the giveaway. So just remember PNW fun stuff. He makes some awesome handmade hand carved. I should say hand carved with his own blood, sweat and tears writing pens. And they're awesome. So you can choose your wood. I'm a Coca Bolo fan, uh, from back in the day, but it's all good. All right. Well, I'm kind of thinking we should up it. You want to up it? You want to up it? Should we up it? I think we should up it. I'm feeling kind of up it, up it style. And there's like the PMW fun stuff. Thank you for your kindness and all your hard work on that and donations. You've donated so many to so many channels and it's pretty awesome. So thank you. All right. Should we do it? Do it. Everybody says, do it. Gold class? I mean, we're not up it that far. <laughs> I'm just saying. We're not up it that far. <laughs> I, like your, I like your thinking, though. I like your thinking. All right. So we have a blue box. We're just going to drop it right there. Drop it like it's hot. We got a blue box on the scene. On the line. What's up, Troy N? Says, up, please. <laughs> I like that. I like that. <laughs> Empty boxes. Yeah. Hey, sh don't give away my secret, man. Don't give away the secret. <laughs> yeah. Glow Rhino has some good swag too. I love that. All right. So we're going to do the numbers game. Big Red posted up the rules. It's going to be one guess, one guess only. Closest without going over. Ties go to a second round. U.S. addresses only for shipping. Guess from one account only, please. Ties will go to a second round. If you guess more than one time, my moderators will time you out and remove your guesses all in one fell swoop. And we don't want to see that. So please just one guess, one guess only, one account only, please. Price is right rules. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Are you? <laughs> Uh, everyone pick lowest. Go low, go low. Go low, go low. <laughs> Help me, Tom Cruise. <laughs> Help me, baby Jesus. All right. So here is the official tissue paper going underneath. The bench made. Woo! I almost said it. I almost gave it away. We see a start on the screen. It'll be one guess, one guess only. Close without going over. Ties go to second round. 
One account only. U.S. is address only. There's the start. Your range is 200 to 500. 200 to 500. One guess only. One account only. U.S. address is only for shipping. Dorito. Cheeto. 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 Samurai. Cheeto cats. I love it. We did it at the perfect time because Dutch Bros is all finished. Muy finito. All right. So let's go back. Let's take a look. See what we have for numbers coming in. We had a good spread going from the 200s to the 300s to the 400s. I like it. Rule number nine, thank you for putting that up there. And thank you, Big Red, for getting us out the gate. Out the gate. Do, 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 do. Jesse, you put 3318 is going to be a little outside the range of 200 to 500. If you wanted to correct that, go ahead and do that. Do, 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 Brian Jones putting a million. A little high, a little high outside the range. Do, 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 Got some good ones coming in. I like it. I like it. The range is 200 to 500. 200 to 500. 200 to 500. Dude, I like the, the guy, the cheese guy. Is it Robert Cheese that you guys turned me on to the other night? Funny stuff. He's got some funny songs. I would sing stuff, but I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> oh... Ooh, How do you like my body? All right, 200 to 500. Closest without going over. One guess, one guess only. Love the singing, yeah. He does like, I've got big butts, or I like big butts, and I cannot lie. You other brothers can deny. <laughs> Welcome to the jungle. I can't sing that high right now. Welcome to the jungle. <laughs> Get up, come on, get down with the sickness. <laughs> All right, let's go back and look. Making sure everybody's getting their guess in. Do, 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 do. All right, Big Red, you can throw up the stop signs whenever you have a moment, and we will go back and check and see who is closest without going over? Can you whistle without moving your lips? <laughs> Just a weird, odd question. Oh, snap. We're going to get... There's stop signs. Okay. I'm going to put this out here. I'm going to show you. And I want you to tell me who's closest without going over. Because I think I got you guys. 207 was the number. 200 to 500, 207 was the number. I don't see anybody with uh, anything under 207 or 207. <laughs> Can you whistle without using air? You're magical, bro. <laughs> whistle while you work. 
I still love the like Eminem Tupac mashup mix that they did. I wish they would put out a whole uh, song of that. That would be sweet. <laughs> That's a whammy, bro. I think I got it. <laughs> Does that mean I keep the giveaway? Oh, oh snap. Oh. I don't know. Somebody's like, go low. I'm like, okay, I'll go low. So I went low. <laughs> first time ever i think i've done it one other time i think i got somebody one other time so okay so head fake woo, woo. <laughs> brand new america what's up man gold class what's up gold class crew member no winners no winners no winners okay so you can see from the amount of comments it's already started to cut off the top end of the comments. So that's why I went through ahead of time as well, just to make sure we're doing it. So, oh, the Jay-Z Limp Biscuit mashup. Yeah, that's pretty good too. All right. So my crew members, it looks like I'm hearing from me to do a, a run again, do a redo, do over. Douglas Donalds, how are you? All right. So we're going to have to do a uh, round two, I guess. Jay-Z Lincoln Park mashup. We're doing it live. Okay. So I'll get a, we'll do a no winner comments just so we know. Everyone, everyone's in this knife off. <laughs> Rerun. I like that. All right, let's see here. And I don't know, will we get in trouble? How many seconds can we play a song? Because there's a lot of like places that play songs. Um, I wonder if I could play it without getting in too much trouble. You think I could play it without getting in too much trouble? Let's find out. I don't know if that's the one I wanted. Is that the one I wanted? Not for the kids. That's why it's not for children here. All right. <laughs> there we go. We're just doing it. We're doing it. Obi Trice. <laughs> all right all right all right okay oh i know right it's like i mean i got some friends who do some music ones they play like 30 seconds up to 30 seconds of like copywritten songs and I, they're fine so who knows that's how it goes it's a mix-up so they can't get too mad at it wu-tang is for the children though I'm not giving you all more S's, Marshall. Um, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. We'll get to round two here. Let's do round two. Let's do uh, let's do a different spread. So we'll do a different spread. Um, we'll do. Yeah, we'll make it more fun. More fun for everybody. <laughs> uh, woo! -wee. Treat yourself, Zach. I just keep it. <laughs> you the low rider and the low rider one. Getting rowdy. I know, right? Woo. Uh, let's see here. How about... <laughs> That's too funny. Uh... Well, I already have this. I already have this stuff. So I'm giving it away. Right? I, I've got this stuff for you guys and gals or whoever gets it. Remember to do that like button bounce. Yeah. Make it bounce. All right. 
X gonna give it to you. I like a little X. All right. We shall see. There's a channel called There I Ruined It. They use AI to get the Beach Boys to sing 99 Problems, and it's amazing. Oh, really? I swear. All right. Hold on. I got to look at the, the spread again. I forgot. I started getting into music. All right. So, Big Red, if you want to post up a start, just put in your comments uh, for the guests so we can get them all in there. And we'll try to run them all real quick. What's up, Mad Hatter? Remember the crew? All right, round two start. 150 to 400. 150 to 400. 150 to 400. And let me look up this other channel real quick. Uh, there I ruined it. And we'll feature them. So it's a, it's a you know, a channel feature, let's say. Ha <laughs> ha. This is featured there. I ruined it. That's pretty groovy. So go check out there. I ruined it. I'm going to give them a little subscribe there. We'll check it out later. But that's pretty groovy. That's pretty groovy. Pretty groovy channel right there. Thank you for the suggestion on that one. All right. I got to look real quick. So I make sure. I can't remember which number I picked. I'll take it off screen for just a second. You'll be able to see there's no writing on it. Okay. There we go. I got to go back and look real quick. See if I got you again. See if I got you. Gotcha. All right. I'm looking. I'm looking. <laughs> Got on rap patrol. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Little mashups like that. <laughs> oh man. I get around <laughs> up out of town. All right. Oh, we got some good guesses all over it, so that's good. Thanks for changing your number. Yeah, no, I wish, huh? Highest bidder in the DMs. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Elvis sings Tupac on there? Oh, I'm going to have to check that out. That's wild. Oh, how would that even go? Love me tender, love me kind. I won, you can all go. I got five on it. Oh, your old BMX is collectible? Nice. Yeah, right, M-Bomb, yeah. Tupac singing Elvis. Oh, that'd be crazy. All right. We'll give it another 15 seconds there, Big Red. And then we'll see who's closest without going over on round two. Because I got you on the first one. But I think we got somebody close on this one, so that's good. I think we got somebody close. I didn't see uh, – there's the stop signs right there. So we'll get it out there so you can all go look as well. Same with my moderators. It was 150 to 400. It was 341. 341. I saw 340. I saw 340. So help me look. Help me look. I'm looking at them all. Look at them all. Look at them all. Woo! Some close ones. Some close ones. Do we have a winner? Call Ron, get some music. Yeah, I should do that, CK. Call Ron up, be like, hey, I got some ideas. 
So I got Sleazy Pancake with 3-4-0. So he's one under. Is that going to be the closest? Is Sleazy Pancake going to take the win? What's in a Sleazy Pancake? Do you like mix eggs and bacon and sausage all in there? I'm just saying. All right. So I see Sleazy Pancake with 3-4-0. Oh, man, so many are just over, too. <laughs> Oof, I think that's going to take it. I think that's going to take it. George Jones singing Led Zeppelin. That'd be wild. I'm going to have to look into that. So, yeah, Fook Doozle sees a Sleazy. Pancake, Big Red sees it. Blade Walker sees it. You guys are saying congrats to Sleazy. All right. I said 195, but I meant to say 341. <laughs> yeah, Sleazy Pancake, congratulations on the win. That is awesome. You are the winner. So, Sleazy Pancake, send me an email zach.edc at gmail.com and we will go ahead and make sure to send me um i'll tell you how to do a screenshot of your account unless you know how to do that um just to confirm it but make sure to send me your name uh full name and address for shipping and we'll get that sent out to you so it'll be in the mail tomorrow and what did sleazy win besides all this beautiful awesome stuff let's do the slow and un unveil it's a pancake with roofies. <laughs> oh, it's a black bag in a blue box. All right. First time out of the box. Oh, the CF Elite Benchmade Bug Out. Open for the first time. Let's see. All right, we're good. Oh, it's going to need to be broken in a little bit, but it's still working good. Centering on point. I like that. So much awesome stuff you can do, not only with this, just rock stock, all blacked out, but you can do so many additions to it. Make it your own if you'd like. Pocket Razors, posting up the link for that. That is an awesome win. Sleazy Pancake, congratulations. Thank you for being here as well. Thank you to all my mods. You guys, the mod life is terrific. Thank you for all your help. Thank you for everyone joining in, hanging out for round two as well. Don't forget, knifetubeschedule.com will share with you all of the planned live streams, Knives Fast. If you're looking for just all day long live streams, then go over to Knives Fast. Click on the subscribe, hit the bell icon. Also here, if you wanna you know, make sure you don't miss something, click that bell icon. There's lots of things coming up that you don't want to miss. But thank you to everyone who donated to Zach's Day of the Carry Crew members. That is awesome. You guys are a 10. Thank you to all of Zach's Day of the Carry Crew for your continued support. That's what makes these things possible, right? Makes it possible for me to give away these bench maids, those kind of things, all your support. Everyone watching the videos, thank you so much. Titanium Justin just jumping in. Don't forget today, Stella, she's going to be going live. Also, OCD for EDC, hopefully it'll be live again. They took a little break last week, so we're going to have to really rally up today. Uh, 5 p.m. Pacific, 7 Central. Also, right after that, 9 Central is Edgy American. Tomorrow, we have Everyday City Carry in the morning, and then a Knives Fast throughout the day. Check that out as well, as well as Pocket Metal for Metal Mondays. And, of course, Jawan's Knife Attic Life. So, lots of stuff going on later today and tomorrow. Mad Hatter, good to see you as well. Remember the crew. Thank you, Big Red. Thank you to all my mods for posting links up. And don't forget to check out SKL from last night on Big Red EDC for that awesome reveal. I'm just saying. Nice Fast member for 29 months. Thank you so much, my friend. Platinum crew member right there. <laughs> we'll wrap it up with that. Maybe we'll see if there's another little, hey, how are you? On there, I ruined it. And let's see if they have anything good. Ooh, hallelujah, but it's Baby Got Back. <laughs> I like big butts, 
I cannot lie, other brothers can deny round things in your face. <laughs> Alright. We'll end it on that. Go check out There I Ruined It. Awesome channel, it seems like. A little mashup. Thank you, Marshall, so much. Teamwork makes the dream work. You all have an awesome rest of your day. Of course, most importantly, what is it? We all know. Hashtag DSKFS. Do something kind for someone. If you didn't do it today yet, make it happen. We'll see you on the next one. And check for some upcoming videos and go back and look at those other ones. Thank you, Martial Law. <laughs>